General Michael Flynn went from the director of national intelligence to being betrayed at the highest level of the White House. Does he feel that betrayal today? Let's have him tell you right now. General, the theme in the movie is a patriot faces his own government as his worst enemy. It's mm -hmm. like you expect it if you're in Iraq, but not in D.C. And certainly, right. certainly not at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, surrounded by fellow Americans serving their country. I mean, you were literally almost destroyed by the people that should have been your allies and should have had your back. Do you feel betrayed by what yeah. happened? Yeah, do you, I, I, feel, you know, absolutely. Do you feel people are going to get that from watching the movie? Oh yeah, I think people. I think the American people that watch it. I mean, we, we would do testimonials after the movie was seen by people in the audiences, and uh, and I think people people actually were angry. They were very emotional, and they a lot of people came up to us and to me personally and would tell me uh, stories that they experienced with the persecution of the government for some weaponized reason. So do, do I feel betrayed? I do. I absolutely do feel betrayed because I served in the government. I served in the army, you know, served overseas, served in combat. I actually served with members of the FBI overseas in the war on terror and I, and actually created, I created small task forces, these, these Intel fusion task forces where we would bring elements of the FBI and I'll speak directly to this. We would bring them in, in into our sort of umbrella of this counter terrorist organization that I was part of. And we worked very closely with them because of that long time relation. I'm talking about a relationship that all went on with the FBI and me personally for over 10 years. I mean, I knew the directors. I, I you know, I knew uh, um, Bob Mueller. I knew Jim Comey, right? I knew their deputies. I knew some of these other people. I, what I did not realize was then was at the tail end of my military career. And then of course, as I got into politics, how corrupt they were. Now, let me just give you one example. When I, the, the month before I retired, I retired in, in, uh, in September of 2014. During that month, I was actually asked to come over to the FBI headquarters. Jim Comey was the director of the FBI. And he presented me in front of a large body of people, the highest award that a, that a non-FBI agent can receive, okay? Presented it to me. It's called the Director's Award, the Director's Medal. Put it around my neck. You know, he gave me a big plaque. You know, we had a big celebration. Uh, we had a reception, all for my benefit and to, for Jim Comey on behalf of the entirety of the FBI to thank me for my work at multiple levels with the FBI. And a year later, those SOBs have me under investigation in what we now know, what we now know to be a very corrupt uh, uh, investigation, Crossfire Hurricane is what, what it was called. And it was all based on a lie. It was based on something that Hillary Clinton and her campaign created. So I absolutely uh, feel betrayed, but I'm not one to be vindictive. I don't, like I said earlier, that I, 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 don't, I didn't fight our enemies overseas because I hated our enemies. I fought because I loved my country. So I don't hate people. I don't live with hate. Otherwise, I couldn't live with myself. But what I am is I'm one that I'm one to look for accountability. And and now now is the time. So it's not about you know the feeling of betrayal. It's also okay. Wait a second, folks. We we now know from my invest from my efforts, my team, my legal team's efforts, we expose such incredible levels of corruption. And yet here we are still right. But from those levels of corruption that we exposed. All these same people are still are still given, you know, this is the pe same people that are giving Trump a headache.